Oh! Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just Fred, where I am playing Terraria. Last episode, we did some bosses, we did, we made a new summon, we found some random, we found some random uh, animated sand in the desert, which became our friend. <laughs> it's just peculiarly, peculiarly, interestingly enough, uh, I also made this thing, I'm not sure if I made it in the last episode, but this thing is really freaking good. The summon damage, and it just, whoops. And it just makes eyeballs fly around. And they home in. They're really slow, but they home in. I just remembered what I might want to do in this episode. I think I'm going to use these shadow diamonds to make myself more storage thingamajigs. So I need a heart, I need an access thing, and I also need a crafting thing. So I'm going to need more, more diamonds. Alright, let's go and do this. I'm going to go and buy some things and I'm also gonna have to wait for the goblin invasion that's also another thing that that I need can I buy I can cool uh, I think I will do this on top of my house to make all the NPCs go insane is my freaking building my building is almost full of NPCs already uh. <laughs> all right here we go hello I have to do I should probably avoid my NPCs for a little bit. Oop. I should make an arena, maybe. Well, I know where I'm gonna make the arena, I just don't really know... Well, I'm just not really in the mood for making the freaking arena. <laughs> boom, boom. Okay, I'm getting confused. Which, which eyeballs are mine? <laughs> also, when I accidentally hit, 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 when I, I hit, no, when I accidentally hit uh, any freaking enemy in the game by doing a dash, my apologies, but that is one thing that I cannot control. And I have all, you've also already seen me hit a couple of enemies with a freaking pickaxe or something like. This isn't a challenge run. This is just. A fun run. A fun run, yeah. Alright, I think I might want to get the assistance of some NPCs. <laughs> the assistance of NPCs. Oh boy, I'm gonna heal. Uh, hello. Where are you, you bugger? <laughs> Alright. Please help me, NPCs. Please assist me in my endeavors to kill this giant mob eyeball monster thing. Ugh. My god, this thing is a pain in the ass to kill. Don't even forgot. There we go. <laughs> Everybody's still alive. It sure as hell looks like it. And more paper tubes. Uh, let's see. Some more Crimtain. Torn notes. Uh, Shield of Cthulhu, which I'm not gonna need. So I will just go and sell you already. Uh, also, don't need another one of these torn notes. I can make another one of these boys. There we go. How much mana do I have? I have 200 mana, which means that I should be at max mana as long as I don't have anything with. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Alright. I guess I'll fight another one. <laughs> another one. Come get me, bitch! <laughs> Come on, you guys! Use your magical powers of being NPCs to kill these fuckers. Will not let these fuckers take this land. Oh boy. Alright, this is where stuff gets funny and insane. My god, already there's freaking three of them? Christ. Yikes! Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You get up. I also have the Durst, if I absolutely have to, I'm also gonna 
make use of the nurse. Hey, Dryad, how about you give me your buff? Thank you. The door is closed. <laughs> Man, without the freaking dash, whoops, <laughs> without the freaking dash, this, this boss is insane. Or some movement, like you need a lot of movement to be able to fight this boss properly. Got the tears of sorrow. There's normal arrows into tear arrows. Huh. There we go. New accessory blueprint. And the mask of Cthulhu. That is quite nice. And the leash of Cthulhu. I just got the everything of Cthulhu. Huh. Alright. You. You can have these things. Because I have no need for them. Also the store note once again. I will however hold on to the mask. Because that is something that I can use. There we go. Uh, let's go to the piggy bank. Deposit. The star. There we go. Uh, so. I just got more shadow diamonds, right? No, I did not. Huh. So there's a... There's a chance that you get a shadow diamond, but it's not a 100% guaranteed that you will get one. That is annoying. <laughs> or at least a little bit. I could also just go and hunt for some silt. Do some more exploration. Even though I don't really need anything from the underground anymore. Hmm. Well, let's maybe just go and... Yeah, sure. I'm gonna go to the underground. I'm gonna get some silt. And I'm gonna see if I can get some diamonds from that. <coughs> <coughs> because fighting these bosses is not giving me enough. Let's go and throw you in there. Uh, oh, I actually ran out of healing potions. Uh... I have enough normal healing potions. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright, let's go into the... Whoops. I should probably put these things back. Okay, let's go underground and let's go and get myself some silt. Okay. Whoops. Oh, hello! Hello! Oh boy. You are difficult. To fight, or at least a little bit. But you're also very easy to cheese. Look at him struggle. <laughs> Look at him struggle a laser through all of my NPCs. There we go. Got him. The quad retina eye. There we go. This thing is freaking disgusting. Ah, it blinked. You know the scabbers in the care in the crimson. Well, uh, deep inside there are these demonic heart things. Legend has it that if you destroy three of them, they summon an ancient evil. Summon and slay this evil. You can also use a bloody spine to summon it too. <laughs> the goblin army is approaching from the east. Uh, now this is pot raising. Uh, this thing does eight damage. What kind of attack does it do? It's, I think I'm going to get rid of the toy control robot stuff. Why? Because the robots are a little bit glitchy. Or, um, actually, you know what, let's go ahead and just get rid of this part. Frostfire, dude, you have served me well, but right now, you're not strong enough. <laughs> there we go. Got some black lenses from this, which is really freaking good. Okay, let's go and deposit you. Let's fight this freaking goblin invasion. <laughs> well, when it appears in the game. Like so. Um... Let's see, I want this thing. Just to just freaking lasers. It shoots lasers and that is about it. Seems like it. I got some here with a <laughs> goblin drummer. That's funny. Ah, fuck. Boom 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 boom. A trapper. Oh, throws freaking balls. Throws balls! Yes, it throws balls. You know, let's go and summon the sandstorm birds. They are, they stick to enemies a lot faster. There's a scorpion coming this way. I should probably catch this thing. <laughs> or not. Thank you for the you wood. Oh, you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, how funny I am sometimes. The life of a freaking summoner. <laughs> Just stand there and watch everything die. How in the hell did you even... Oh. 
Oh, I have a freaking sword that I can use to fight. There we go. Eat my summon damage, you bitch. Ah, crap. Ah, crap, I'm being bombarded by balls. Eat my eyeballs. I should probably avoid hitting the enemy with the actual sword part. Actually, I don't know, man. This thing is just... Uh, who cares? <laughs> What's this thing? The ICU will fight for you. <laughs> well then. Got yourself in a right sticky wicket, haven't you? And all the NPCs are slowly but surely moving over here. Right, kill this freaking thing, please. Thank you. I do like this though, with like a couple of new interesting enemies in the Goblin Invasion. Oh, I should not have killed you. I actually need to catch one of those to summon a boss. Is it the next boss, Wasteland? Yeah, it actually is the next boss. Oops. No, no, no. There you go. There we go. There should be some stuff down here because I killed some of them, yeah. Let's get him! Now let's go and get the rest. And then I think if I go over to the alchemist I can buy myself a basic summoning potion. And I can use that potion to summon the freaking goblin tinker, that way I don't have to go looking for him. Praise the lord for this. I gotta say like the alchemist NPC mod is the best mod to make your life easier in Terraria. In my opinion, once again, because a lot of people don't really like it when the game becomes too easy or too basic or whatever. Underground reward. I have daylight. Uh, no, this thing is not used for anything, so I'm not going to buy it. Okay. Uh, spike bombs. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. Can I make this out of bottle or do I, make, do I need to make it out of special place? Speaking of which, I should probably go and put down a bottle in... <laughs> if I can find the freaking things. I should probably put down a bottle over here. Hey, there's a bottle over here. Can I put it on you? No. Where can I put thou? I can put you over here. There you go. Uh, I can make the arms dealer thing, the stylist. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I need the stylist. I don't make the one for the goblin thinker. Goblin Tinker. Yeah, it's always oh, this one. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Alright. There we go. The Goblin Tinker has awoken. Hello, Goblin Tinker. How does it feel to be awoken? Uh, I am going to buy another one of these things because I want to get the other person. Also, the stylist. I can also finally finish off this armor set. Before we go back upwards. Thank you. To be honest, most goblins aren't exactly rocket science. Well, no scientists, well, some are. <laughs> I will reforge this thing. Slow, broken, broken, unpleasant. That is a lot better. Okay, anything else that I want to... Maybe this one. Adept. Murderous. <laughs> Murderous. Murderous. Excellent. <laughs> Alright, let's go and uh, go over here. And let's get the stylus one going. Whop. There we go. So now we have the stylus in our world. Are these things... Ah, I pressed the wrong button again. You. A, a you would enchantment. But of course. Wait, more spike bombs though. And shadow flame staffs and stuff. Well, it shouldn't be impossible though to make... Well, nothing of this is really impossible to make with. No. Alright, let's go and drop you in here. I'm pretty sure the spike ball is also used for an enchantment. Yep, ancient enchantment. Uh, the post goblins, loot tokens. Uh, the harpoon. Pre boss loot tokens. No, that's not the one. There are some other tokens that I got, right? Did I get like 
post boss thing is? No? That's probably the post goblin stuff. Alright. Cut another one of those freaking... Uh, wow, I got a freaking greater healing potion. That's really cool. Hey, you. You can have this thing, because I don't need it. Uh, Tenor can go in here. What can I do with the U wood? I can make a summon weapon. Yes! Uh, let's see. Range damage for this thing. Immune to knockback. Okay. What else is this? Oh, the icon of healing. Um, I will go and make this summon thing. When I first need the arcane weapon fabricator. I should also probably buy the stuff that I want to buy from you. Like this. And this. Tool belt. Hmm. Boss fluid swapping token I'm gonna need later on. Uh, yeah, there's there's a couple of things to buy, but no. I'll wait with buying those things. Uh, who am I gonna buy things from? Oh yeah, of course. It was going to be you. Hello. Thank you. Okay, go back. Let's finally go and put down my Tinker's Workbench. Bam. I can finally combine this thing to make the GPS. That's really nice. That's a little more space in my inventory. Inventory. Uh, Arcane okay, Armor Fabricator. Make the Falconer's Cane. Command the Falcon to fly towards your cursor position and stand guard. Minions near, the, near your Falcon will take additional damage. Or will deal initial damage. Okay, uh, additional damage. Let's take a look at what the comfy stuff does for me. And also just drop the U-Wood. You would, wouldn't you? I'm sorry, I find it too funny. I got with Spectre Boots, that's also that's already really nice. Let's see. Uh, now I have 13 defense. Now I have 12 defense. Puffs no longer deal damage to you. That is actually not that good. Um, and I can only summon two minions, so the Arcanium stuff is the best. For a time being. This stuff looks really comfy, but it actually doesn't look too good as a sprite. Oh well. Uh, these guys. Let's go and see. Uh, screw the freaking toy robots. Huh. Interesting. Really interesting, actually. Maybe I should make it... Hmm. Let's see. Because I should make it that these two items are going to be right next to each other, so I can constantly attack with this thing and then switch to this thing if I want to help some of my minions out. Maybe I should, maybe I should change up how my setup usually is. I think I'm gonna do it like this, actually. Yeah, sure. Should be good. Uh, let's summon another one of these boys. I'm sorry, another two of those guys. Uh, I'm gonna drop you because you have lived out your usefulness. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's see. Butterflies. Butterflies! I'm a like a fly, I want a butterfly wing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to get all the butterflies, but that should be on normally be on the wiki, on the terrarium wiki. So I should be able to figure this out eventually. Okay, uh next up. I want lightning boots. The Zephyr. Isn't that a drop from the uh from the one boss? I think it is. But, as you can quite clearly see... Actually, no, there's still one house left. No, this is not valid housing. What? What? Is this too small? No, it's not too small. It should be good. Huh. That's peculiar. Is it because there's this stuff over here? Weird. Does it... Does it have the... Yeah, it has complete walls. Is it just because this is all all this is over here? Because normally it wouldn't matter that much. Hmm. Well, I guess this doesn't count as a room then. I do still want this stairway to be here, maybe. Well, aside from this room, <laughs> all of the rooms are filled already. Which means that I'm gonna have to build more already. <laughs> What am I gonna make? I still wanted to make this oasis, so maybe I should do that next. But before we do that, I will go and 
do this. Oh boy, that's ugly. Good. Thank you. Let's go and change our hairstyle. This is something that I always like to do. Well, not always, but I recently found a love for doing this. Mainly because you can get stuff like this. Or stuff like this. <laughs> or stuff like that. You can get some really interesting hairstyles. And also some of the hairstyles move when you walk. Like this one, for instance. This one moves, which I really freaking like. I want my hairstyle to be moving around. Oh my god, this is so good. Maybe braided might be good, huh? Hmm. Ho 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 ho! Oh, that's amazing. Oh wow, this little... Pinky... Uh, is it pinky tail? I actually don't know what, it, what it's called. Or this one? Or this one that goes over here? Ooh. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> Huh, um, some interesting hairstyles, gotta say. That's some interesting, uh, design choices you got there. Hmm, I'm thinking about maybe just getting the braided one. Well, oh, no, no, wait, 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 I was thinking about getting another one that I seem to be missing entirely. Yeah, this one. It's not gonna be flowing around like I wanted it to. Hmm. This doesn't really fit her. This maybe? God damn man, this is a difficult choice for me. Uh, you know what, sure, I'll go with this one. Am I gonna change the color though? <laughs> I'm going to change the color to a celestial color. I could. Or I could just spray it. You know what, sure, let's go and keep it blonde. Ish. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, definitely gonna have to pay one more gold because I screwed around with the things. Sure. Let's see, you, because you do sell these things, you sell a party, hair dye, time, mana, life, the depth, or the hair dye remover. Party hair? Oh. Wait. Is this... Oh my god, this thing... <laughs> nah, let's not do that. Uh, oh wow, I can constantly use this. It's not a consumer. Oh, huh, cool. Uh, well, you know what? I can, you can have this back. Uh, the time hair dye is also cool, but nah. Sure, I'll deal with this for now. The thing is, I don't want... I want something to put on her head, but I don't know. I know there's some vanity stuff, like some tiaras or whatever the hell, or crowns or whatever. But I'll have to find them before I do any of that. I gotta find the perfect spot to zoom out again. Okay, this is not the way that I want her to look quite yet. But like I said, this is also a some kind of a thing about this playthrough. I'm just gonna be changing the way my character looks over the course of the game. Okay, right now, I can go and fight the Wasteland if I can catch myself one of those things. So I will get rid of my minions, because they will otherwise kill all of those freaking scorpions. And let's see, whoops. <laughs> let's go and see about catching myself a scorpion. A mutated scorpion, I'm sorry, not a normal scorpion. While also avoiding death. You're gonna see, right now there are gonna be none of these things spawning when I need them. <laughs> Before it were my freaking minions killing them. Alright, maybe I should just summon my minions. Especially for the goodie bags, because I think the goodie bags have some interesting uh, vanity sets in them. Beep, beep. My god, I love the fact that her hair flies around like this. Oh, hello. You are a desert elemental, which will give me a guaranteed piece of desert essence. Which is going to be useful in a certain way. Whoops. Well, I think it is going to be useful. Yeah, I still need to make the desert trailer boots. Whoop. <laughs> Come on. Scorpion, oh scorpion, where art thou? There you are. <laughs> okay, my minions almost killed it. There you go. It writhes in your hand. Summon Swasteland on use. Alright, let's go back. Let's go and open up my goodie bags to get the creeper outfit. 
Yes, my dreams will finally realize. I will just drop you in here because I don't care about you. There we go. Uh, I am going to drop you in here also. So, to fight Wasteland, I am going to need buffs. I am also going to need an arena. Because Wasteland is not going to be an easy boss. I think I'm also going to go and see if I can get an Anchor of the Wind some way. One way or another. One way or another. I'm going to find ya. I'm going to get you, get you, get you, get ya. Friggin' One Direction. Go and plug down some torches. I'm also gonna go and place down, uh, place down some more torches down here, and also get myself a campfire for extra regeneration. Do I need a workbench for this? I don't think I do. I just need to... <laughs> just need to farm some torches. There we go. Get me a campfire over on this corner. And get me a campfire over on this corner-ish place. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Okay, I think I'm also gonna maybe buy some buffs. So, the thing that I... Oh, I'm, I'm really not sure about how to do this right now. Because buffs really help me, but at the same time... You also become really overpowered when using buffs. I'm gonna give you an example. So, the thing that I was doing, usually... Or in the other playthroughs that I was doing... The thing I was doing was... If I go and drop all of the stuff that I get over here... There you go. The thing that I would do is from the moment that I have enough gold... I would go to this NPC, right here, Lucy, and I would buy uh, Swiftness, Iron Skin, Regeneration, Endurance, um, and also the potions that are needed for my specific class. I would get all of those potions. If you buy 30 of them, or if you get 30 of them, you can combine them all together into an unlimited potion, which will give you 60 minutes. Of that effect and it will also just be unlimited you can constantly use it but at the same time it's also a little bit overpowered so i'm not sure how i'm gonna go about this because if i if, if i buy the unlimited versions maybe i should just you know i think i'm gonna make the unlimited ones i'm just only gonna use them for boss battles i'm, just, I'm not gonna use them for anything else maybe that might be good. That might be good. I'm still gonna make the unlimited ones just because it's easier. <coughs> uh, yeah, sure. Let's fucking do it. Okay, thirty of those. As you can see, my money is draining like crazy. Uh, I think I will just keep with iron skin and swiftness. I get regen from the other things, and I don't really care too much about the summoning right now. Alright, let's go and kill another random critter. Right, uh, can I make them at the bottle uh, or is it at the Tinker's Workbench? It is at the Tinker's Workbench. There we go. So I can make unlimited of these. Almost combat potion and this phantom stack. There's some glitching going on over here. Huh. Wait. Yeah, it's this one, the Blitz. Support combo, so you can even, this is something that wasn't in the original version, or like in the version that I remember in any case, you can also combine a lot of these potions to make one really good buff, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Another thing, I'm not sure if this is something that I can just normally do, or if this is something that I need a certain accessory for or whatever, but I thought, 
No, okay. I need a certain accessory and then I can just press the B button and all the buffs that are inside my piggy bank will be used. <laughs> Which is pretty freaking insane. I definitely need the movement speed for this boss. You know what? I think I will fight the boss then. Uh, now that I have more than enough movement speed, I also have a, couple, a little bit more defense. A couple more defense, yeah, sure. Right, is this thing required to be fought uh, during the night? No. Just use this thing in the desert. Okay. Here we go. Okay, now there's a freaking sandstorm. Let's go and get... Oh. I can also go and use this thing. The Extilter. Watch out for its venom darts. Oh, he's dropping down. That's not good. He's gonna climb back up somewhere. Normally, in any case. In the original, like back in the beginning days of this mod, this boss would be glitched as hell. And it would also spawn scorpions that would have infinite health <laughs> or something. It was pretty dang insane. Man. It wasn't good. But they fixed this boss and now it's a really cool freaking boss man. Ah, no! Oh boy. Yeah. Get me out of this shit place. Okay, it's going back underground. Let me go and kill some of these scorpions. Okay, let's go and get this boy going again. Watch out for... The thing is, I do need to make new houses because there's one NPC that that sells boss items, and I really want them. Alright, let's go back to the other side. Ah, scorpion. Oh, fuck. Ah, there we go. Alright, wasteland, where are you? There he is. Got him. Okay, nice. <coughs> that takes care of him. Right, what do we get? We get the Slinger, we get uh, reju Rejuvenating Venom Gland. Equipable, attacks inflict venom and poison. That's pretty dang good. And the Wasteland Mask, which is kind of useless. You also get a decent amount of essence from that guy. Right, let's get this uh, lottery tickets going. Let's go and deal with some hiccups. Uh, the Wasteland Trophy. I think I'm gonna go and put it in, uh, in this space. There you go, in these houses. All right, let's go and drop all of this stuff in the chest. Whoop. Uh, Demonite, I don't have Demonite in this world, so yep. The Stinger is a magic weapon, and that's just about it. I'm not sure if this guy has a summoning weapon. If he does, that might be nice. Otherwise, I don't really care too much about it. I'm gonna hold on to this mask. It's cool. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, so after that guy is beaten, I am going to maybe... I find it so dumb that I have to do this again, but I'm gonna have to make more housing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make freaking more houses, because this is, this is insanity. But you know what? I think this might be... I don't think I'm gonna end the episode right here. I'm gonna end the recording for me, because I don't really think I can continue. Or, like, not for long in any case. I still hope you enjoyed. Uh, if this is the end of the episode, which I don't really think so, but if this is the end of the episode, I do really hope you enjoyed uh, this episode I just read. I had a lot of fun making it once again. This, this is really fun, in my opinion. Alright, I should maybe go and see about getting something else to wear over there. Okay, now I'm starting to look like a freaking hipster. Uh, <laughs> and that is not what I want. <laughs> What I really, really want. You know, it doesn't matter. Uh, next episode, I'll, or like, next... Either next episode, or the, or the coming two minutes or something, uh, or, like, second or what I, I don't care. You'll see me either later or now. Okay, goodbye.